Hi, my name is Frederik de Wilde. I'm an artist from Belgium and I will talk about EOD2, which stands for Electric Organ Discharge. So EOD2 is an installation which is created in collaboration with LABO. LABO is an organization for digital architecture, uh, urbanism and design. The project is a new media installation which is founded on special species of fish that perceive, electrosense their environment and communicate with each other by emitting electric signals, which can happen either in pulses or in waves. The project explores the normal communication mechanisms of electric fish including jar, the means by which a fish avoids attempts by other fish to jam its frequency. And thus the project investigates communication and non-communication between individual fish as well as between people and fish. So the installation is based on four aquariums of taintless mirror, each presenting a specific composition of fish producing different electric signals. In each aquarium, antennas and sensors allow us to capture the signals which are directly related to four speakers transforming the signals into sound. So what we hear is the fish electric signal and thus their communication. Furthermore, under each aquarium a light bulb or a grid of LEDs is placed pulsing according the intensity, the rhythm of the emitted signals of the blind fishes. In this manner, the electric impulse drives sound, light and an entire audiovisual space. The electric fish is also portrayed in Egyptian tombs around 5000 years ago. The Egyptians gave the electric catfish the name he who had saved many in the seas. This was in part that the fish would be caught in the net without other fish and shock the fishermen, causing the net and the, the caught fish to fall back into the water. In the case of EOD, the emphasis is on man-technology-nature interaction. The question EOD raises are fundamental questions. What do we take from nature and moreover, how? What do we get back from it? Do we feel pity for the fishes? How does anthropomorphication work? The mechanisms of identification. Is communication between man and animal mediated through technology ever possible? In which way are technology, fear and the unknown entwined and what is the relationship between ethics, aesthetics and biotechnology? Becomes the scientific process a spectacle? Is EOD representing the instrumentalization of life or is it celebrating life as an ongoing process of differentiation? Are juxtaposed 
representing a decrease of diversity in biological habitats and acceptance of the generic artificial habitats. A testimonial of humankind's struggle for dominance over natural evolutionary forces and resources. At first glance, EOD seems to be an attempt to achieve some sort of communication between man and nature. But isn't it mainly expressing the impossibility of communication?